Art can be very, very beautiful, but the way it's, it's traditionally been, been represented and shown has been on sort of stretched out canvases hanging on walls. So while it can be very sort of uh, interesting and educational and things to sort of walk around uh, in an art gallery, um, I just felt that something that, that evokes so much emotion um, from a viewer uh, needs to have a slightly more personal kind of a relationship. Mr. Dhruv's idea was taking painting to, uh, to some other area than art galleries, museums or exhibitions like thing. So it is the idea what I got from him uh, that was the art to take with uh, people will carry art with themselves through jewellery. So that sounded very interesting to me and uh, but I was afraid when he was telling that the painting has they have to be done on canvas and uh, the canvas will be fixed on uh, in jewelries then I was wondering how it is possible though they will be very tiny they will be the uh, even smaller than the miniature painting there was something missing in the way that art is currently being um, displayed or um, presented. It's been a year I met Dhruv and he approached us at the gallery with this novel concept of it. It immediately had clung to me and I, being in the gallery for the past 30-40 years, have always tried to break the monotony of a canvas on a square or rectangular stretcher. I myself have done shows with heads, masks, umbrellas, flutes, etc. And it's very nice to see Dhruv take this very passionately and he's really, really working hard on that. I do a very large works like 10 feet by 4 feet or 6 feet by 4 feet, 5 feet by 5 feet. So, एक आर्टिस्ट को इतने बड़े फ्रेम में से आना और इतने छोटे मिनीचर काम करना, it's a very difficult to come back to that small scale. We have a hill cottage uh, in a little village called Dhanachuli, uh, which is where we went and sort of sort of uh, hung out and, and, and brainstormed on our, on ideas uh, in terms of the jewelry. And we've we've put together a collection which um, which we which which we liked and which sort of suited our own sensibilities. So creating those canvases and fixing them in the jewelry, it was definitely exciting. When I have seen the ultimate uh, production, it was I think it was different. It has taken the artists a long time to sort of rework their style of painting. Some of them were treating the canvas in a certain way, um, they've had to change that. Uh, a lot of them now paint uh, with the aid of a magnifying glass. It's been very difficult for them to shortlist the artist because we had to see who will really fit into the concept and who will be able to do the justice to this. I don't want little bits of the art, I want the entire piece. So I want the entire concept presented in a very small, um, minuscule size. In the process of, of working on, on, on Miranika, what has happened is we've inadvertently sort of uh, put together a group of creators. Uh, these creators come from a lot of different fields. Uh, some of them are painters, some of them are sculptors, um, and then some of them are craftsmen, some of them are, are, are jewellery designers. For me, jewellery in itself is a piece of art. So here we are combining art with art, so it's double the dose of creativity. Uh, jewellery, uh, 
Now the art is just not restricted to the walls. It's actually the person is actually carrying it, uh, beholding it. In our workshop, the karigas are uh, melting silver and converting it into flat sheets, which is done through the process of milling. And then later on, uh, he converts those sheets and uh, draw the designs, whatever designs I have done here. He's tracing those designs on them and then sawing it and then giving them a 3D form. So basically, the 2D sketch is converted into a 3D uh, module into the, in the workshop. थोड़ा सा तकलीफ वही होता है कि ये थोड़ा पतला पीसेस है ना तो ध्यान से करना पड़ता है ये थोड़ा ध्यान रख के ये बनाने में भी अच्छा लगता है थोड़ा हट के काम है ना तो इसलिए अच्छा लगता है बनाने में जरा डिजाइन भी देख के थोड़ा अच्छा लगता है ये डिजाइन ही जो आता है यहाँ पे वो देख के लगता है क्या है तो मैं काम बना रहा हूँ तो मेरे को थोड़ा अच्छा लगता है काम किसी को आके बोलता है कैसे काम बना रहा है कैसे बना रहा है वो थोड़ा सुनने में भी अच्छा लगता है बस काम ऐसे ही हो जाता है there were a lot of uh, different ideas for what we would call the company. We will name the company as a mixture of the two names of the babies. Uh, and so as a result, we've named the company Miranika. I'm a firm believer that um, if you want to do something magical in your life, you need to at some point um, stop doing what you're doing. Uh, take a leap of faith. Um, be willing to think outside the box, think differently and, and, and better still just work with, collaborate with different people and be, be willing to create that magic together. Each piece of jewellery is carrying an independent painting. Every piece has a different painting and it's not a repetition, it's done originally by a upcoming or a very well-established artist uh, with their original artwork in it. <laughs>